So we're gonna cut this off, take it out of back gear. You just need roughly an inch and a quarter. I mean, even an inch is fine. You know what, I think I, I like the proportions of an inch better. So we're gonna go with an inch. It's just, you know, it's an, there's no dimension to this other than what looks good. So we'll, uh, we're just gonna cut it off there. And I call it good. You can hear the extra whine. It's because the um, lead screws engage. So we'll disengage that. It's a little quieter, a little bit less wear. And it should just drop right off. There we go. So get rid of that. And Get rid of our piece. Now I, I am going to face this off and uh, put a bevel on it. I need to find some aluminum or something to wrap around there. Hang on. All right, I dug up a little little piece of aluminum just to stick in there so that so that we don't tear this, make it you know ugly. It's not like it's got to fit anything, but yeah. Well, if it'll go in there. My quickie hand formed round isn't very round, so it's all right, it's good enough. I could take and put the collet in this, but I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> See how that looks. Good enough. All we gotta do is I'm just gonna face it off and put a chamfer on there to make it look decent. feeding it by hand. Put a chamfer on it, make sure that's going to clear the chuck. It is. That's good. I'm going to put a little one on the uh, ID as well because we're going to be pressing in a piece of tubing. That's plenty good. Okay. So that's it on this piece. Yeah, it didn't, didn't ugly it up, so we're good. Get rid of that. So here's our, uh, our new end piece. We'll just get a piece of tubing and uh, make it fit, and uh, should be good to go. Put the O-ring on there. And uh, it should work. Let me uh, let's measure this and see what we really have, though. Before I before we go crazy with trying to make the tubing smaller, make sure that we drilled about the right size. So it says two four nine five, which you know, a quarter inch drill bit. I'm sure, we're still zeroed here. Yeah, it's off a little. No, 2490, 2495, still roughly the same. So we need to tank our tubing down just a little bit. Let me cut that off and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I, end, I ended up cutting this uh, four and a half inches long because uh, I like the proportion. So that'll put a half an inch inside of the uh, body or inside of the uh, nozzle, and then uh, four inches of stick out. So we'll. And this is, you know, I'm not using the mic on it. I just use the calipers, but because we're measuring the hole with the same thing, it's the relative dimensions. So this is. This shows uh, two five, two five. So it's uh, three thousandths bigger than our uh, our uh, hole. So I decided yet whether I want to try to press fit it because it's going to be hard to press. Not really hard, but it's long and skinny, and it's a little. I might just make it so it's a clearance, and then. Uh, Put a little bit of red Loctite on it, so it's probably what I'm going to do. Of course, it's flexing a lot since it's thin and sticking out. But. Let's just try sticking a skinny center in there. If this is small enough or not, it might be. It is. All right, we we'll use this in there. That's better. Yeah, let's see where we're at. Should be pretty close. We got 248, so it should just slide in there with a little bit of clearance, and that's fine. A little red lock title. Take care of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That'll do. Put a little little chamfer on there with a file. We don't need much. Don't really need any, but... Alright, and I shouldn't have long sleeves on, but I do. Because it's got... there's snow outside. It's not very warm. Alright, we'll just uh, clean this other end up. Put a chamfer on that. So technically we're done. I'm going to uh, I'm actually going to hit this with a little emery cloth just to just to make it shiny. Doesn't really matter, but I kind of like it that way. So See, I'm holding this with just my thumb so that if it catches, it'll just pull off, which it shouldn't. But that looks nice. I'll just do the other end really quick. Okay, I think we're all done. Let's get uh, put a little, put this together with a little Loctite and uh, bring you back. Okay, it's been I don't know roughly 15 minutes, and our, our Loctite is it's still movable. So yeah, may have to put some more. I shouldn't have moved it, but anyway, um, it'll be fine. So anyway, this uh, it threads on here nicely. And then you can feel the O-ring seat, so everything's the right size. That, that's all good. The problem is, is that uh, 
because there's no, you know, the original one, because of the annular discharge, there's no way you could accidentally, um, you know, put it up against your skin and put air into yourself. And a lot of the uh, OSHA ones have cross holes in there so that if it gets blocked, it has somewhere to go and instead of into your body. So I think what we're going to do is uh, put a pair of uh, eighth inch holes in here, a quarter inch from, from this end, that way it'll miss the tube. And uh, so to do that, we're going to use a collet block with a 5 8 collet, which is uh, what I turned this to. So that'll go in there. And then we'll just uh, put the nut on it. So that way we can, uh, we can go in roughly a quarter inch from that end. We'll stick that out a little bit more. And I'll put it in the vise, tighten this up, and I'll move the camera. Okay, so. Uh, I put this in the, the collet block, which we saw before. Um, anyway, I tighten this up with a little spanner. So um, this can be about as simple as it gets. We'll just put it in the vise. It should be all the way seated. Give it a couple of taps just for good measure. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just going to use the edge finder and the DRO and just center off of the vise jaws, which is more than good enough. Zero or Y. Come over this way. And there's that. Hit that. And then uh, use the half function on the VRO. And that is. And it puts our Y dead on center. So, whoops, almost forgot. So one thing, which I almost missed, is that we want this distance to be repeatable when we rotate it. So we're going to put our vice stop in here. I've showed this before. But there's an adjustable part and then there's this, just this fixed one, which for what we're going to do today, this fixed one is good enough. I'll move this actually. So we'll put that down there so that our collet block goes up against it. And that way, when we slide it back in, we'll have the same stop. So this is just going to hit the corner right here. We're good there. And we're still on center because, of course, that didn't change. So we're just going to come down and then uh, find the edge and go down a quarter inch. Whoops, got the quill stop on there. I don't want to hit the O-ring. I'm going to lock it right there. Go over. Finder brakes there. So we allow a half the diameter of the edge finder. There's our hundred thousandths. Move it over 250. Right there. We'll just spot it with a center drill and then just run an eighth inch 
drill through there. We're just gonna go right through with an eighth inch. Should run a little faster, but I'm not gonna change the speed. It's fine. And it's cutting, cutting good. I could put a tiny, tiny chamfer on there, I think. We'll do that. Is this uh, suitable? Yeah, we'll just do it with a center drill. Just barely touch it. Do this on the other side too. Just a touch. That's good. Flip it over and put a chamfer on the other side, then we'll drill our other hole. There we go. That looks good. All right, so here's our uh, now safety, safety enhanced uh, blowgun thing. So that way, if for some stupid reason I do stick it up against my skin and pull the trigger, the air goes out the sides, and we don't uh, incur problems. There's actually, of course, stuff in there. We can actually use the old air gun to clean it out and. Of course, this one has no safety either. It is decidedly nasty. Anyway, let's see how this works. All right. So we'll put our handle on. Actually, we'll just use this nice little eighth inch drill bit as a wrench. Snug that up so it won't go anywhere. And Seems good. Of course, if we do this, yeah, we can feel the air coming out the side. So that, that looks like it's going to work just fine. So there's our uh, our handy dandy. Um, <laughs> should have been quick project, but of course the lathe didn't want to cooperate fully since the threading dial was off. I could have just put a die on it, but um, it's fine, and uh, yeah, that, that'll work out just fine. So anyway. Um, Thanks for the subscriptions. Um, you know, it seems like every day I, I see a few more subscribers come on, and I haven't made a video in, in so long. I'm hoping to remedy that, and uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate your comments. I usually don't have time to respond, because like, life's, life's a lot different now than it was six months ago. Um, so, anyway, I really do appreciate it, and uh, hopefully I can get back to uh, making these on a pretty regular basis. Take care.